Okay, now part of transformations is reflections. This is important. Remember, um, in translations, like vertical or horizontal, it didn't matter if we did up or down or left, right, first or second. Reflections are the same way. It doesn't matter if you reflect something this way and then that way, or that way and then this way. You'll, within reflections, you'll get to the same result. Now, uh, we'll deal with the order of intermixing those later. Let's just get to this. Reflections. My beautiful triangle, okay? This here, as you can see, is a reflection over, this is a reflection over the y-axis, okay? We need to know how to verbalize these things, okay? This here is a reflection over the x-axis. This thing here, this line is y equals uh, x, okay? This is a reflection over the line y equals x. That is how to properly say these things. Um, on another note, let's say I had uh, x equals 3, and I had a shape and I reflected it like this. Okay, it just over there. That's where the mirror is, okay? This is called a reflection over line x equals 3, okay? Now you know how to describe it. Same if you had a horizontal line like y equals 2 and you drew something like that. You're reflecting it over the line y equals 2. Okay, erasing that. Hit, hit rewind if you need it. What I have here is the initial function, a, re, um, a reflection over the, we'll discover why, but a reflection over the y-axis, that's where the negative sign goes, a reflection over the x-axis, this is where the negative sign goes, and a reflection over the x equals y, this means the inverse. It's an inverse function. Okay. Now, you can either just memorize those, or I will explain well, I will explain you why. I prefer that you understand why they work, okay? How do we know, okay? Because when you understand why, then it is no mystery, and you get it. So next video, and what are we going to use? Table of values. Just like in grade 8, that's how easy this is. So um, don't memorize, understand instead. See you next video.